I could be content with my career. Five years in, I had played in the Pro Bowl. I had, you know, by the grace of God, played and starred in the Super Bowl, had an historical moment and catch. What more could I really, you know, what more could I really ask for? Manning takes the snap, back to throw, under pressure, avoids the rush, and he's going to fight out of it, still fights out of it. Now throws it deep downfield, wide open Tyree, who makes the catch. You know, when you look at the, you know, the fans and the, the you know, the, the excitement, the historical components that I, I give honor to God and, and I celebrate it with all the fans of, of sports culture. And so it was just an honor to be a part of something that, you know, that was so, um, I guess, you know, celebrated historically. I, I knew that, you know, there was so much more beyond this football field and that's what the journey was about for me. Uh, when I came home, I promised to give God all the glory. Do our fans mean more than our, you know, our position in eternity? And um, that's what I, be I believe that, you know, marriage is a reflection of this. Marriage is the only relationship that actually mirrors a relationship with God. It's very unique in that way. And, um, you know, so I am disappointed when, you know, there's, there's not enough guys who would, you know, dethrone their platform and cast down their crowns to lift up something as honorable and, and near to God's heart as marriage. Our society permeates those three things, you know, um, for men especially, sexual conquest, economic prowess, and um, they're, 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 they're extremely unfulfilling. Um, you know, I, 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 at the height of my, you know, moment that actually led me, I realized that I had, you know, athletic prowess, sexual conquest, and, uh, you, know, at, you know, at a very young stage, uh, you know, um, economically well, you know, in my early career, and I was, I, was, I was at the lowest point of my life. It was extremely unfulfilling. And so um, not to say that they're all bad things in and of themselves, but um, if they're the central focus of our, of our being, and that's the message that we're sending our children, you're, you're, you're setting up our generations to live unfulfilled, purposeless lives. It says that you don't need a mother or a father. Um, I think you know that has to be one of the loudest messages that ring ring forth. I know this. I was impacted severely. My father was in my life, but I was impacted severely because he wasn't in the home. And um, you know, and then you have fathers who may be in the home, but it's almost like they're not in the home, and that's impacting on a child. You know, this is what I do know. You you, you can't teach um, something that you don't have. So two men will never be able to show a woman how to be a woman. Um, and, and, I, and that's just simple. And that's just, you know, you know, for lack of better terms, common sense. I'm not political. I, I approach more from an angle of prayer. You know, as much as people, you know, are going to voice their opinions and, you know, and make those pushes in a negative direction, I feel like, um, you know, athletes, believers, or people who are very strong toward marriage, especially in places of position, need to, you know, really take this opportunity to, to voice it. And I think we're doing ourselves a great injustice as well as um, for those Christians or believers, we're doing God an injustice by not, you know, making his, his heart known to, to our country. I want to identify my life with, with the Lord Jesus in every way. Um, I, I realized that when he hung on that cross, he identified, you know, himself with me and I wasn't really worthy of that. So um, I count it double honor just to, to be who I am. Um, and it's not about, you know, establishing a theocracy. It's about what's, what's right. It's about, um, you know, how can marriage be marriage for thousands of years? And, and now all of a sudden, because a, a, a minority, you know, an influential minority um, has a push or, an, you know, an agenda and totally reshapes something that was not founded in our country, not founded, you know, by man. And um, it's something that's holy and sacred. And um, I think there's nothing more honorable worth fighting for, you know, especially if we really care about our future generations. If they pass this gay marriage bill, um, you know, and, you know, the, the, I guess you could say my peace is in God's sovereignty. Um, you know, but what I know will happen if this does come forth is this will be um, the beginning of our country sliding toward um, you know, it's a strong word, but anarchy. Um, you know, the moment we have, and if you trace back even to um, other cultures, you know, other countries, um, that will be the moment where our society in itself loses its grip with what's right. 
And, um, you know, I do believe that there is right and wrong. I do believe that there is good and evil. Um, I believe that many things are subjective, but I don't believe that truth is subjective. And so, um, you know, marriage is one of those things that, um, you know, is the backbone of society. So if you redefine it, it, it changes, um, you know, the way we educate our children. It changes the way, the, you know, the perception of what is good, what is right, and what is just. How you doing? This is David Tyree. Played a few years with the New York Giants. I'm not sure if that's your sports team, but if not, I still love you. Um, the other thing I want you to understand is that you are a man of integrity, and I want you to continue to stand for your stance on what a marriage is. A marriage is honorable in the sight of God between a man and a woman, meant to, so that you could continue to procreate and be a demonstration of God's heart, his life, his joy, and his peace. Know that I love you. You have a giant in your corner, but more importantly, you have a giant God who loves you and loves for what you stand for. God bless you.